Submarine pipeline is the lifeline in the exploitation of marine oil and gas resources. In recent years, with the continuous development of the offshore oil industry, submarine pipeline has been widely used in the offshore oil and gas exploitation. It is the fastest, safest and most economical and reliable means of transporting oil and gas continuously. This video will introduce you to the offshore pipeline installation process on the Dill S4200 ship. The Dill S4200 for National Petroleum Construction Company Limited NPCC, of Abu Dhabi is a self-propelled derrick lay vessel with a 10-point mooring system for operations in water depths up to 150 meters. For deep water operations the vessel utilizes its DP2 system. It is equipped with a 4200 ST Novum Clyde Model 80 fully revolving derrick crane. The vessel is based on the SOAP 3000 design from Alstein, and has a length of 196.9 meters and breadth of 43.4 meters, and a lifting capacity of 4200 short tons. The Dill S4200 can carry out S-lay and steep S-lay pipe laying operations of up to 66 inches diameter in water depths from 10 to 2000 meters. Submarine pipelines are utilized for the transport of seawater, bulk oil and gas products, and they are manufactured from steel. Steel pipes usually have a continuous in situ concrete coating applied to give weight and mechanical protection to the corrosion protection coating. It's also to provide weight to the pipeline to give it sufficient stability under wave loading and ocean currents. Pipeline installation is a complex and multifaceted process. That involves the precise assembly and placement of individual pipe segments to form a continuous pipeline. This intricate procedure requires meticulous planning specialized, equipment and skilled personnel to ensure the integrity and longevity of the pipeline line. Pipe beveling a crucial step that prepares the pipe ends for welding, involves precisely cutting the pipe ends at a predetermined angle, typically between 30 and 45 degrees to create a smooth angled edge. That facilitates proper weld penetration and fusion various welding. Assembly process for 12 meter sections of pipe as they proceed on their way to becoming part of a long pipe in pipe pipeline. After numbering and a free weld inspection they're rolled onto the alignment welding station where the ends are preheated this station is at the start of a welding line and cycle that welds the sections into nearly 1 km long pipe stalks at predetermined cycle times. Welding is crucial to the whole process because the whole pipeline fabrication process is being done on offshore. It can be done in a controlled way to the highest technical standards and if there are any problems they can be dealt with quickly and effectively from the welding stations. Techniques are deployed each tailored to the pipeline's diameter material and operating conditions after the welding process. The weld area undergo meticulous grinding and cleaning to remove any slag excess weld material and surface. Imperfections then a field joint coating is applied. To protect the welded joint from corrosion and external damage. The coating material is typically a high performance epoxy or polyurethane resin that conforms to the pipeline's outer surface. The pipe moves through visual weld inspection into the non-destructive examination area, where a full range of techniques are available. The primary examination techniques are traditional radiography, digital radiography or automated alkasonic examination. The next stage in the process is coating of the weld areas. This is carried out in the field joint coating area, where a full range of systems are available.
Laying pipe on the seafloor can pose a number of challenges, especially if the water is deep. S-Lay Pipeline Installation When performing S-Lay Pipeline installation, pipe is eased off the stern of the vessel as the boat moves forward. The pipe curves downward from the stern through the water until it reaches the touchdown point, or its final destination on the seafloor. As more pipe is welded in the line and eased off the boat, the pipe forms the shape of an S in the water. Once the pipe joint is prepared and coated, it is carefully lowered into the trench and positioned alongside the previously laid pipeline. The pipe welding step is very important and it is performed by an automatic welding system after being beveled, the pipe sections are moved to the welding station. Hydraulic lifting system connects two sections together. When the pipe end are aligned the spacer taps the pipe and secure them together. The automatic welding system is installed and operates completely automatically under the close supervision of technicians. Dual Torch Automatic All Position Pipeline Welding Machine Configuration Welding Head, Wire Feeder, Central Controller, Portable Panel, Welding Power Source, Water Cooler, Water Cooled Torch, Control Cables. It's designed with automatic vertical and horizontal tracking to reduce welders' operation difficulties and labor strength. It's designed with embedded system and built-in welding expert database, available to call corresponding welding parameters according to access level. The system is able to call corresponding parameters automatically according to position of welding head to realize smooth transition of welding parameters and precise all-position welding. Interfaces of Wi-Fi and QR code scanning gun are reserved. It is capable of providing remote technical services and data transmission in the cloud to realize convenient real-time quality control.
CRC Evans Presence Offshore Pipeline Construction The CRC Evans P600 is used for offshore pipeline construction. The P600 will be operated on board Helix Esk's pipe laying vessel Caesar. The process begins in the ship's massive pipe hold. Crane operators load pipe onto the rollers. Rollers move the pipe between stations. Pipe is rolled onto the pipe elevator. The pipe arrives on the production deck. And is rolled into the pipe facing station. where the pipe ends are beveled for mechanized welding. The pipe is positioned for the pipe facing machine or PFM. The PFM is inserted into the pipe. The operator engages the faceplate. When the bevel is finished, the PFM is removed from the pipe end. The pipe ends are now beveled and ready to be welded. The pipe is now moved to the bead stall. Before the pipe can be welded, it must be preheated. The pipe is moved into the preheat area. The band is put on the pipe and adjusted to a predetermined distance. The pipe is heated to the qualified temperature to evaporate all moisture from the surface. After preheat the pipe is moved to the firing line. The reach rod is inserted into the next piece of the pipe. The clamp is aligned and the rear shoes set. The spacer signals for the next piece of pipe. When the pipe ends are aligned the spacer taps the pipe. The reach rod operator raises the clamp shoes and clamps the bevel in place. Helpers place the P600s on the pipe band. The welder deposits the root and hot passes.
The second weld station fills out and caps the pipe. The finished weld is tested with X-rays. Film is wrapped around the weld. The X-ray bug is activated via the isotope. and emits X-rays for 15 seconds. The film is interpreted and stored for future reference. The process continues 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.